Coming up on today's episode of Chloe Asmeen. I want to talk to you today about clear vision. Many people are not reaching their potential, not because they're not talented, not because they don't have favor, it's because their vision is limited. They don't see themselves accomplishing their dreams, being blessed, living healthy. But you will never rise any higher than the way you see yourself. Through your eyes of faith, you need to see yourself the way you want to be. You may be fighting an illness, but you need to see yourself healthy. If you're struggling in your finances, you need to see yourself out of debt, with an abundance, being a blessing to others. If you're dealing with an addiction, don't let that negative image take root. Don't see yourself defeated, dysfunctional, can't break it. Get a new image. See yourself free. See yourself whole. See yourself as an overcomer. Your inner vision is setting the limits for your life. The pictures you keep in front of you, in your imagination, that's what you're moving toward. Even subconsciously, just like a magnet, you're being pulled toward what you're seeing. You may struggle with low self-esteem. Sometimes you feel inferior, like you don't measure up. You have to change that picture. Get in agreement with how God sees you. He said, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He calls you a masterpiece, one of a kind. Why don't you get your image in line with God's image? If you'll change your pictures, you'll change your life. If you'll have the right inner vision, see yourself strong, talented, favored, with a bright future, then you'll reach the fullness of your destiny. How do you see yourself? Lacking, negative, a victim? I've been through so much. Life's not fair. I'm just struggling to make it. That's the wrong picture. God said he has beauty for those ashes. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hello, can I have a venti strawberry um, acai lemonade? Okay, anything else? That's gonna be it, thank you. Oh, thank you, can I have a straw? Thank you, you have a great day. Thank you. He said he'd pay you back double for the unfair things. Get rid of the image of a defeated you, a lonely you, a victim you. Start seeing yourself as restored you, a blessed you, a happy you, a coming out better you. You're moving toward the picture you have in your mind. Make sure that picture is something that you want. Hello, everyone. I'm sure y'all can tell I'm getting a little better at makeup. Okay. If you're new here, then you might not know that I am new to makeup. I just recently started um, dibbling and dabbling in makeup because I'm actually on Accutane, which is a prescription drug for acne. But before your acne get better, baby, it gets worse. So it was really affecting my confidence and my self-esteem. So here I am trying out makeup, covering up my acne a little bit, just to make it possible for me to go out and feel normal. So yeah, I'm kind of proud of myself, y'all. I feel like I'm getting so much better. I've been doing makeup every single day this week. Um, Honestly, not for the best reason, but I am getting a lot better. I don't really want to talk about currently what I'm going through, but to sum everything up, basically... My grandfather took his own life a week ago. And I don't really want to talk about it because I don't know how to like talk about it without getting into a really dark place. So, so basically I've been wearing makeup every single day this week because I've been seeing my family every single day this week. We've all been kind of mourning and grieving together. um, And now it's time to get back on our feet. So here I am, it is Monday morning and um, girl, I'm getting back to life. I'm sorry y'all. Ooh. I'm not disregarding my feelings or my emotions in this situation, but I I don't want to let this control my life. 
I can't let it control my life. I don't have time for it to control my life. I will go deeper into how I'm feeling and my perspective on the situation and how I'm dealing with it. I'll talk about that in another video when I feel comfortable, but for right now, it's so fresh um, and it's a fresh wound. So it's nothing that I really wanna talk about, but I know y'all like, girl, you be drinking some drinks in the morning. Yeah, I know. I drank lemon water. I actually haven't finished it. I'm sorry, mom, please forgive me. Basically on Accutane, you wanna make sure that your liver is healthy because if your liver's not healthy, they'll take you right off of Accutane. So my mom was like, girl, start drinking you some lemon water in the morning time. I did my research and it's saying that it's good for the liver. So I'm like, okay, so I drink lemon water in the morning time. I drink my little coffee. And lately I've been drinking a lot of Starbucks. So your girl got her refresher, but I feel like I'm talking too much. So basically this is the plan today. I'm going to vlog my day. This is the plan today. Cleaning, a dread retwist, candle shopping, and maybe cooking. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time for that, y'all. I haven't really been wanting to cook this last week, so I've just been doing what I can. But my mama been doing most of the cooking, okay? Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean my whole entire apartment. I didn't clean yesterday because yesterday was the last day my family and I got together for the week. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my apartment. Lord knows I love me a clean apartment. Amen. Okay, and if you're struggling with motivation, go ahead and watch this video. But also, pray about motivation, y'all. I'll be praying about every little thing. When I learn that the Lord really cares about every little thing, I'll be like, Jesus... Help me do my eyebrows today because you know what? <laughs> I'm serious. And then when I get done cleaning my apartment, I'm gonna go ahead and get some food. I wanna go candle shopping. I went to the grocery store the other day, the Meyer Meyer's grocery store. Girl, they have a candle wonderland. Swear to gosh, they have so many new candles, so many cute candles, so many amazing candles. That's where I got that candle right there that I lit this morning. I'm addicted to candles because I have two dogs. Okay, dogs stink. Okay, I don't have time. So, I love to keep a very clean, nice smelling home. Candles be helping us this out. So, I'm gonna go candle shopping. Then, I need to detox um, Jordan's dreads, wash it, and retwist it. And girl, I don't know what the heck else. I feel like that's pretty busy and productive to me. Since I haven't really been that productive this last week, this feels extremely productive. So, I'm proud of myself, y'all. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself with how I'm dealing with what I'm dealing with right now. I'm very proud of myself. But I'm also, oh, y'all see my little balloons my mama got me for Valentine's Day? Ah! If y'all want to see my mama and I make some Valentine's baskets for all the guys, because my mama and I are like the only females of the family, let us know. But like I was saying, I'm really proud of myself, but I'm also very thankful to Jesus for allowing me to go through a lot of hard stuff this past year. Because had I not gone through what I've gone through this past year, this would have broke me. This would have consumed my life. I had just talked to my grandpa a week before I passed away. I said, hey grandpa, is it okay if I come over today? Like, I just want to see you. It's like, no, it's not a good day. Girl. Let's start cleaning. So let me go ahead and show y'all what I got to clean. So I always start out with my kitchen where my puppy dog is at. Where my puppy dog is? Where my puppy dog is? Ooh, girl. We keep her in a closed in area when we're not watching her because girl, she be doing all kinds of stuff all over my house. And then this little bit keeps her company. They're like best friends now. It's pretty darn crazy. But yeah, I always start off with my kitchen. I'm actually super excited y'all because I bought some new placemats that I'm gonna go ahead and switch back and forth. So I got like some cute like wicker placemats. I got a cute little grateful sign that I'm gonna put right there. And I have a paper towel holder that I'm gonna put under here here in my mailbox I have that in my mailbox so I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff today with my home I'm super excited so we cleaning and we're doing a little bit of decorating okay girl so I always start out with my kitchen so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my dishes um wipe down all of my appliances sweep the floor mop the floor I just cleaned their cages like two days ago so they're okay then I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my living room y'all see I took a bunch of pillows off yes ma'am trying to make it more spacious and airy in here so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up my living room I just vacuumed and refreshed my couches the other day so all I have to do is really just make the couch like I said I'm gonna sweep and I'm gonna mop all this area and then I make my way into my room and I'm gonna go ahead and straighten up my room y'all it's the mess we can see that and then the bathroom and when I tell y'all this used to be like pretty clean to me like my home how it looks right now but now Girl, this is so messy to me because I clean every single day. This is stressing the sister out. So, girl, let's get this cleaning started. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my little cleaning attire, put on my gospel playlist, and have fun. Y'all know sometimes your girl does not know how to stop rambling, so just let me ramble. I recently made a video about comparison because a lot of us struggle with comparison, and comparison is holding a lot of us back. And the devil uses comparison to hold us back and to prevent us from being all that God has created us to be. Amen? So, real fast. For an example, I was watching some like cleaning videos and like some reset videos um, recently and like all the videos that I were watching, 
swear to gosh, these girls are living in like $6,000 apartments, their couches are like $10,000, and their decorations look like they're running a freaking million dollar business. Okay. And I like my living room. I think it's really cute, especially since it was super affordable. My whole entire living room cost me like, what, $25,000, $3,000? That's it. All of it. And I like my living room. It's pretty. I have been wanting to change a couple things, but I like it, y'all. I'm so grateful for it. But once I started to watch those videos, the enemy tried to get me with comparison again. I said, hold on, hold on. I was just grateful. Love my living room until I started watching these videos. See, what the enemy tries to make us do is become jealous of people instead of happy for people. Hate people instead of love people. No, I'm super happy for those girls. I'm happy they get to live nice. And I'm grateful for mine. And one day, the Lord will bless us with things that we want. But first, we need to be grateful for what we have, okay? A grateful heart is a happy heart, okay? And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful because growing up and what I grew up in, this was luxury. Amen. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start cleaning, sis. Let's get some motivation. Let's get some motivation. Yeah, yeah. That was ugly. I'm sorry.
water should be pretty clear because I mop my floor so much, you guys. I get like super paranoid. Yep, it's pretty darn clear. I get like super paranoid about having dogs, them going outside and then coming back to my floors. When I tell y'all I can't stand no dirty floors, I just can't. It's a pet peeve. Please don't judge me. I'm not sure if y'all ever heard that Kira Sheard song with Missy Elliott, but please don't judge me. I'm about to go ahead and put these brand new sheets on my um, bed, but no, I have not washed them. Please don't judge me. I'm gonna do it. I bought these sheets from Target and they're so cute. One day I do wanna make my room a whole different color, but for right now I have this big gray bed. So I'm going with the theme of the gray bed. Okay, so gray. Low basic, but it's my ex favorite color. Still gotta love her. So your girl's room is clean. I love my little Valentine's decorations. I only have three. But look at this cute little dog Jordan got me. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. I'm loving the sun coming in, y'all. Anyways, my room is clean. I was going to put down carpet powder and vacuum plus clean my bathroom. I said that a little weird. Clean. <laughs> but I'm really running short on time. It's currently 1.30 and I still have to detox Jordan's hair, wash it, dry it, retwist it. I still gotta go candle shopping. I don't have to, but girl, I want to. I gotta get something to eat too. Honestly, I haven't really had an appetite this past week or so. So I've honestly been taking advantage of it and fasting, but I'm definitely starting to feel a little dizzy. So I need to go ahead and get some food in my belly. But let me go ahead and show y'all what the crib is looking like, okay. I love when the windows are open, but I don't have them open for too long because of sun rays. I have a really sensitive skin right now on Accutane plus my perfumes are there so I don't want it to mess up my perfumes let's get a good little overview with the sun coming in all right all right let's get a nice little overview if that's the word now let's go ahead and shut these curtains super peaceful y'all I love a nice peaceful home and for some reason every single time I clean my home my dogs sleep for hours okay like they love a clean home I'm like okay y'all tap in so this is what the room is looking like yes ma'am okay y'all i got lots of laundry to do i got the living room looking good smelling good yes ma'am everything is looking so good it smells so good i'm so excited and once i get my new paper towel holder to put right here i'm gonna go ahead and start putting up the different decorations that i got but i have been doing like little home improvements i'm super excited about even just buying new sheets makes me feel so good you guys gotta love it gotta love it so yeah the house is looking good y'all know y'all never really see me clean this guest bathroom or that room it's because the guest bathroom doesn't ever really get that dirty and now that jordan uses it he cleans it
it, okay? Plus, that room is just too embarrassing for me, y'all. It's just too embarrassing. Girl, let's talk about this perfume of the day. I know there's so much random stuff back there. <laughs> I need to organize, okay? But let's talk about my perfume of the day. Do not mind a sister's nails, please. They are hurting for love, okay? But <laughs> this is my fragrance of the day. It is Floral Musk by Dossier. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sending me four new fragrances. I am so excited and I love them. Here I have the three that I want to go ahead and talk about. They sent me four, but these three are my favorites. So today I am wearing the Floral Musk. Now, Floral Musk is just a dupe for Idole by Lancome. When I tell you guys this fragrance is one of my top favorites, I love this. If you know, you know this is such a beautiful, long lasting fragrance. Now, the bottle is cute, yes, ma'am, but is it worth paying $130? something dollars for that bottle. This smells exactly like the Idole by Lancome. When I tell y'all it lasts just like it, it smells just like it, it smells beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and link Dossier's website down below. They make dupes of very expensive fragrances and they hit the nail every single time. They're super affordable, they're super long lasting, they smell amazing, and they're basically the same exact thing as the expensive fragrances, the original fragrances. So if you are looking for affordable perfumes that last just like high-end perfumes, go ahead and check out Dossier. They have beautiful fragrances, they might just have your favorite fragrance, and they last you a pretty long time because they're very concentrated. This ain't no body spray, baby. So here we have Ambery Cedarwood. This one is the same exact thing as Alien, by Terry Mugler, and this is Fruity Magnolia. This is Bright Crystal by Versace, the same exact thing. And these all smell amazing. And I'm giving y'all a real review because I actually own all of these fragrances in the actual brand. Girl, get you some. So today I'm wearing Floral Musk. As you guys can tell, this footage is very blurry. It's all because I try to put an effect on my face to make it more smooth, but it ended up smoothing my whole face out. But I'm at a point where I'm just like, hey, if there's a will, there's a way. Basically, our conversation was just about the fact that he was worried about me getting too stressed out, doing too much in a day, so he didn't want me to detox, wash, and twist his hair in the same day. He would prefer if we waited to twist it so that I'm not up all night doing his hair. It would be a five hour process. So with that being said, I was just saying how grateful and thankful I am for him because he cares that much and he's so selfless. And sometimes I'm just not hungry at all, which I haven't been this last week, but there's a positive to everything. And so like I was telling them that I used it as fasting time because hey, might as well take advantage of it. Now with fasting, you need to be praying while you're fasting. I've heard people talk about fasting and I'm like, what are you fasting for? Like, what's the point of fasting if you're not gonna pray? It's like living without breathing. It doesn't work, it's, it can't happen. So it's like, when you're fasting, make sure you're praying, okay? Now what I love about fasting is that you're so much stronger in the spirit. And I would, oh my gosh, any day, rather be stronger in the spirit than um, physically, like in the flesh. After you get done with like a nice fasting time too, after the fact, whenever you're like eating and everything, you're just like, you feel so good yes. about yourself. And I feel you confident you in my it. prayers. Exactly. No, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Boy, you're going to make me fast today. I'm That's not about to play with you, boy. I ain't going to play with you. Come on, huh? No, seriously, because my mom is a big faster. Okay, my mom is a faster, a faster in prayer. Okay. I never really have been, though. But sometimes the Lord will let you go through certain things to have you do things. Mm -hmm. So I have not been hungry. So he's like, hey, use the opportunity. So yeah, there's a positive to everything. Yes, ma'am. Let's have some candle shopping fun. As you guys can tell, first things first, already, aren't these candles beautiful? And they're 30% off of $12.99. What's happening at Myers? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. That had such a beautiful spa-like lavender scent. And then I got this pink grapefruit one because it was giving such citrus girly vibes. Oh my gosh, gotta love it. I searched around for a while because honestly, I couldn't find any good candles. I was like, wait a minute, did I talk too soon? Because I didn't told my sisters they got some good stuff up in here. Okay, I didn't really get anything from this collection, but I thought it was super cute. So I had to include it on my channel. I love big candles. They look so luxurious and this one, gotta love it. It was such a nice, once again, spa-like scent. 
girl, do your thing. Don't be shamed. Smile, girl. Let it out. Mm, this stunk like all types of crap. Please don't ever buy nothing like that. I smell a lot of these candles and I really couldn't find any until this one. This one, oh my gosh. It smelled like a perfume. It smelled like a perfume. And it was called Serenity. What? Provincial Serenity? Girl, I don't really know. But we're racking up a coin here. Girl, put your thumb down. We still shopping. My bad, girl. My bad. Dang. Ain't that candle funny? We thought it was super funny. Anyways, I went ahead and got a coconut colada what did that say i'm not really sure it was a coconut candle it smelled really nice and then i went ahead and got an oil diffuser that's going to match my bathroom decor plus some essential oils girl what the heck is life at this point life is for the rich what the heck dude 121 dollars for like four to five candles an oil diffuser and a pack of essential oils i guess that's about right Life is so freaking expensive. But thank you, Jesus, for my new candles. I'm super excited. So I've always wanted an oil diffuser that was going to match my bathroom. This one has wood on the bottom and like a white top, which is perfect for my bathroom. So I'm gonna have to move my paper towel, put that there and put the paper towel underneath the cabinet and buy another mountable, mountable, mountable <laughs> paper towel holder for the inside of my cabinet. I'm doing so many new home improvements. I'm super excited. My mom and I are getting into organization and super cool stuff. Ah! I'm like, it's crazy how like you guys get to see my different like phases or like just me growing up. At one point I was like, screw furniture, screw decorations, decorations, anybody coming over? And I'm like all about my household. I love to make my house feel comfortable and super cozy, smell good, look good. I love it. I got doggies now. But can you please call them and order my food? Mm -hmm. I don't want Chick-fil-A. I got their number. All right, cool. I do not want Chick-fil-A, y'all. So I kept thinking about something that I could eat and like tear the whole thing up. Because <laughs> I need to take one of my Accutane pills. Accutane update. I'm doing pretty good, y'all. My scalp don't burn and itch no more. My body's not aching as bad no more. The only thing I cannot stand is my eyes. They are super dry. So when I'm walking in like a store, the air hits my eyes and makes them even more dry so they start to water. So like my eyes are dripping in the store. So that's the only thing that's really bothering me is um, my eyes being so dry. But yeah, I'm doing amazing, you guys. That's the update. Here, honey. So you said tacos de carne asada and what, beef? Tacos de carne asada and flour tortillas. Hello, can I place an order for pickup? All right, yay, thank you. Here we go. Okay, yeah, that's like one of the only things I can eat right now and like smash the whole entire thing. <laughs> because um, with Accutane, you have to eat when you take your Accutane and it needs to have a good amount of fat in it. Like it needs to be a high calorie meal. It doesn't have to be unhealthy fats. It can be healthy fats, but it has to, or the Accutane will not absorb. That means it will not work. A lot of people take Accutane not understanding they have to eat food before they do that and the Accutane just does not work, so. Food. I feel like I was saying something before I started talking about um, Accutane and the food. I don't know y'all, but I got me an oil diffuser. I feel so soccer momish right now. <laughs> no, you're not a soccer mom if you have a diffuser, but I'm just saying like, I feel super professional and like homemaker-ish. If people start asking what I do for a little, I'm gonna start saying, I'm a homemaker. Yep, yep, homemaker. You smell so good. Oh, thank you. Y'all, dossier. Dossier. Ooh, I can't wait to eat my food. Can't wait to eat my food. I can't wait to eat my food. Hey, 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 man, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Oh, I know it. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I can start blowing this up. Please start blowing that up. I can't. I'll probably pass out and faint. <laughs> I'm not blowing this dang bowl up, you guys. This is crazy. This bowl, I really didn't think about it. I didn't think about having to actually blow it up yeah why did i think that it just came like Dude, up or something i don't know here goes the trash i don't know why i'm putting this greasy bag on my couch y'all but i got me some chips i got me some salsa i got me some of this i don't like this stuff i don't know why i didn't ask to not include that it's like some kind of sauce but it tastes like an armpit like a dirty armpit and that's not even me trying to be mean y'all but here goes the refried beans and then in here my tacos they going to get when I tell y'all I'm in love with these tacos, oh my gosh, Mexican food is my favorite food. Okay. Girl, it's giving happy vibes. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, honey. 
welcome, baby. I told him thank you a million times. I'm sorry, y'all. I just keep saying it. I just keep saying it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't ask for no onions, but I didn't. So we ain't going to have a bad attitude about it. We're just going to pick them out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. Can you get me um, a spoon? I just want a voice to be changing. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Can you get me a spoon? Thank y'all. It's whatever I feel. It's whatever I feel. They all me. They're all me. Don't act like I'm trying to be somebody else. I feel you. I'll be doing the same thing. Here you go. I got you a heart one because I love you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Mmm. Thank you! Okay, so this is the charger, so I have to charge it. I love eucalyptus. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with eucalyptus. Okay. Forgot to charge it or put the charger cord in. Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh my gosh, it's working. <gasps> It's coming out, you guys. Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh, you guys. This is a dream. That is so cute. I'm so happy that's a charger cord and not like a cord I have to plug in all the time. It just charges it. Okay, so this is the update, but this is the update after I'm done filming already. So I have my little wax warmer nightlight in my room because I know y'all heard me say that this was a charger. No, the heck it's not. It's literally the power cord and it's ugly and I do not like that. So. I had to take my nightlight out because the top one doesn't work and put this right there. So now I need to just get a wooden paper towel holder, like a little wooden piece that's going to come out of here and look cute. And then this all needs to be wooden. That is what's going to help. And then, yeah, I don't know what else. Just help at this point. But it's super cute. Oh my gosh. I also did not know that it lit up. Like that is cute. Wait a minute. That was not the color. It was just, I feel like it was not just, <gasps> Stop. I just be buying stuff. Didn't know it did that. <laughs> what? It was so funny. Look at you, cuteness. This is cute. <laughs> it is. It's actually really comfortable. I didn't know it was going to be this deep. I'm not going to lie. All right. I'm about to go ahead and put up this paper towel holder. I'm so excited. Oh, it's a little crooked. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now it's time to go ahead and put this paper towel holder up. If this is not a fail, this is on my Amazon storefront. And it shouldn't be a fail because everybody was like raving about it online. It was only like six bucks, legitimately. This is crazy, oh my gosh. I'm literally Ooh. gonna cry. <laughs> Stop playing. No. No? No. <laughs> Y'all, she just went outside and when she comes back in, her paws are always super wet and I do not allow nasty dog paws on my floor. So she's squealing because she's in a cage. So right here? Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Or over here? Or right I think here. the other one. Right here? A little bit to the left, I think. Like right there. I'm scared to stick it because once I stick it, ain't no going back. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> it's okay though. You got it. All right. Ooh, I did it. There's no going back. 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 It's perfect. Stop playing with me. That's perfect. That looks really good. Can you look at those Meyer bags out of my um office slash closet room? The reason why I bought this is because this I really wanted like a wooden cup to put my spatulas in, like my cooking utensils, but the only place to put it was right next to my Keurig, which I need to buy a black one so it can match my my kitchen. So I needed to have a paper towel holder somewhere, which I have. It looks a little crooked, but uh, uh, yeah. So now that we have free room right here, I get to put a cup holder there. Look how cute. Now, I'm just gonna turn it that way because I don't know what this little glitter stuff is. That's ugly. Who thought to do that? Like, I don't know what the heck that is. So I'm gonna keep it just like that and put my little spatulas in. 
look how nice this looks. I'm so happy. I love all this organization. I love it, love it, love it. Doesn't it look nice, babe? Yeah, it looks very nice. That's actually going to be one of my favorite additions. Really? Yeah, I really like that. Love to hear it. Girl, we love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these up. I told y'all I got these cute, like, placemats. They're like wicker. All right. Now, it doesn't mean it's the end of the era for these. I love these so much. They're so cute and unique. But I just want to try something different, y'all. I love to switch things out and try new things. So we're going to try these for now, y'all. I love it. Yes, girl. I'm still going to use these. I love these so much. And you don't see nobody with uh, placemats like these. Okay. But this is a whole new vibe. Oh, my gosh. Just placemats. I really need to get some stools. But I don't want to live here for much longer. So I actually have been like not investing too much into this apartment because I don't want to stay here for long. This is like a come up apartment where I can save money and make it cute, but just come up and get ready for a nicer home. So yay, I love it. I'm making a mess, but I'm so proud of these decorations. I love, 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 love it. I got this for $3.75. It was 75% off at Meijer. And I'm going to go ahead and hang it. I just don't know where exactly I want to hang it. And I'm thinking right here is good. It's kind of cute. It's something. Okay, it's something. $3. Might as well. <laughs> and these are the new home improvements. So we got some new little placemats. I have a paper towel holder that's on my Amazon storefront. It was literally $6 and something. This cute little sign, which doesn't look that good on camera, but it looks really good in person. And this, like this is... This just made a huge difference in my kitchen. Now I want to get a black Keurig to match my kitchen. I'm loving it, y'all. I got to get a new rug because I used to have a super cute, like, orangish rug. And then I put it in the washer and it turned gray. So that's where we're at right now. But I love it, you guys. I love all of these improvements. I feel so good. My house looks good. Ah! And my kitchen is so tiny. So it's really easy to decorate my kitchen. And it's looking amazing. Look at that, y'all. Ah! Are you ready for your hair? I so am. Let's get it. Let's do it. All right. So this is everything I am going to be using for Jordan's wash day. So I'm going to go ahead and detox his locks first with some baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and lemon juice. I don't want to freshly squeeze them because I'm a little lazy today with that. Then I'm going to go ahead and wash his hair with Aussie Miracle Curl shampoo and conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and put this hair mask in. We're going to dry his hair and then I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in his hair and get it ready for me to go ahead and twist it in the next video. Is your head and hair good? Yes, ma'am. You sure? How does that feel? It feels really good. A lot better than last detox, huh? Uh, yes. I used a little bin for his detox last time and I told him that the next time I'll get him a bowl. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> now I just might fall asleep, so if I'm not moving, you know why. All right, so baking soda first. I probably should watch a video before I do this, but I just kind of do it how I remember doing it. And I just put the baking soda all in his hair. All right, and this is gonna cause a reaction with the vinegar to detox any extra product, dirt, that might be in his hair. Now lift your head up just a little bit for me, honey. I'm trying to get it in the bag. And I've been noticing he's got some buildup in there. So we gonna fix that all today. This baking soda smell weird. <laughs> it does. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some apple cider vinegar. Stinky, stinky. I gotta buy more baking soda and apple cider vinegar. Ooh, the mother is coming out on your hair. All right, I'm also gonna let him soak. I'm gonna put some hot water in it so that he can soak because it's not gonna fill the whole bowl up. I'm gonna put some lemon juice up in there. All right, now I'm gonna start putting a little bit of hot water and I'm gonna let him soak. ready you want to get out or do you want to go longer he's like i'd rather go longer so i'm gonna let him go as long as he wants to go i'm just chilling right now i'm so comfortable y'all don't even know like bro you put your feet up there well now i do what just happened it's crazy man what just happened i'm just chilling <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourself 
trying. Enjoy yourself. Let me know when you're ready so we can start washing this hair. Okay. All right, head up. All right. I'm gonna have to dump this in the bathtub. Okay. All right. Alright, squeeze as much as I can. Head up, more. Alright, let's get you to the sink. Alright, let's get you. Come on. Woo! Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Oh, let me go. Let's sink, 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 sink. I was gonna be like, me? Big <laughs> It didn't reach the back of your head, so there's still build up in, your head, in the back of your head. I'll just wash it up real good. Okay. And get all of that out. Okay. Girl, ain't nobody got time for that. She's the loudest little thing ever. If she cannot get her way to Jordan because she's super close to Jordan, she'll freak out. Oh, honey, I don't okay. want to mess you up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I got to get my feet done. That scene showed all my little toes. What, girl? Your toes are so cute. Oh, I sure appreciate it. You said, oh, what? Because I don't I, I just take compliments nowadays. They real Even cute, if though. I don't feel it. Even if I don't, I don't agree with it, I just take them nowadays. Because mm. when my mom started giving me compliments and I started saying, uh, not really, but okay. she be like, that's so rude of you. I'm going to bring you guys along with me online shopping real fast because I need to go on Amazon. And I need to purchase some decorations for my laundry room. And I've been seeing some really cute ones on there. So I'm going to screen record it and bring you guys with me. Oh, I love these new sheets. When I tell y'all, I have never had such nice sheets. Let me get my laptop, girl. We're going on Amazon. Oh my gosh. I'm so grateful for my new sheets. They're so thick and comfortable. Oh my gosh. I am literally in love. This is such a vibe. What a vibe, y'all. It's the little things that count and matter to me. And when I tell y'all, I don't mind a tripod. I'm about to go ahead and sit y'all up here. But when I tell y'all, it is the little things that matter so much to me. It's the little things that make me so happy. And being able to open up my window. Thank you, Jesus, for a window and sit on my nice, beautiful, huge, comfortable bed. I feel so amazing. And no, I did not finish this earlier. It's still real icy. I kept it in the fridge. Yes, ma'am, that cap keeps coming off. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I thought these replica perfumes were super cute for this. Like, they go together so well. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Anyway, let's start online shopping. I'm not gonna do like a bunch of shopping. I'm just looking for certain things for my laundry room that I cannot find in stores. So let's do it. Okay, this is super exciting. I'm trying to get better with editing and stuff like that. So I'm gonna screen record and show you guys everything that I'm going to get. I'm not gonna get like a crazy amount because I personally love going into the store and buying my decorations. Um, but there are a couple things that I've already seen on Amazon. Yes, I'm sorry, I've already seen them that I know that I'm gonna buy today. Plus I wanna look for like a little cute green plant for my bathroom. Ooh, your girl is getting hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the robe off for now. Let me get my drink over here. All right, so we are live and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and first look up like a mini green plant, like to see what they might have because I need some kind of filler in that empty space in the bathroom, but I want it to be super cute because I have like a plant wreath already in that bathroom plus a plant on top of my toilet. 
So it can't be a plant that's not going to go with my other plants. And it also has to be affordable and cute. And the one that I seen, it would have to be this one. Are these two? Flowdry mini potted plant, artificial eucalyptus boxwood, rosemary greenery in pots, faux potted herbs, small house plant. I'm not really too good when it comes down to measuring. So let's look at the reviews and see what they look like in the reviews. Because, yeah, that's pretty good size. Yeah. Just for that little area in the bathroom. That's pretty good. I don't like what their plants look like. So I need to figure out. Okay, yeah, I like this. Look at that. Oh, look at that, you guys. Look at that video. I need that plant. But the vase. I don't like the color of that vase. Hold on. There was some bad reviews. Hold on, hold on, hold on nice but small these are a lot smaller than i expected cute but covered in powdered chalk okay it's only two bad reviews that i've seen out of all of those good ones i don't like the the pot that it's in which is the sucky part because i need it to be like white or cream i'm just gonna wait and go to the store and see what they might have there because the ones that are in like a white pot, I don't like what the plants look like. Let's look at some laundry stuff. So my mom and I were talking about redoing or redecorating our laundry rooms and she inspired me to get like some laundry bins for my laundry powder that says laundry detergent on it and stuff like that. So there was a particular one that I was looking at. So I'm gonna go on my Amazon account and my phone. Okay, it's called Modern Farmhouse Laundry Detergent Container. Okay, let's see oh that's it right here i'm pretty sure this is the one 33.99 they're taxing dude they are taxing but it's super cute i just want to know how big it is let me look in the reviews because i have like a lot of laundry powder um let's see oh that's the dryer sheets i don't even use dryer sheets but i'm thinking about using them because of these cute containers so let's see the dryer sheets is so cute. Okay, the laundry detergent is like a pretty darn good size. Okay, so I'm going to buy that. $33.99. Perfect. And then I kind of want to buy a dryer sheet container too. Dryer sheet container farmhouse. But like which one would I want? Because I don't know if I want the one with the cap on it. I kind of want... Yeah, like a tissue box one. This one's pretty cute. It's $18.99, but it's really cute. I'm getting dryer sheets just so I can use these dryer sheets. Oh my gosh, is this the wooden one? <gasps> no. Okay, yeah, it's just too woody. I would need more white on it. Yeah, that's completely different than the photo for sure. It's a decent box, but totally different than the white finish shown in the pictures i wanted a mostly white container and got one with very little white exactly so thanks for letting me know sister i'm like what other laundry room decor could i get because i feel like i do want to get a lot of it from the store because it's super fun to get everything from the store but like certain things you can only get on amazon this is my bright idea because i use bleach and i also use vinegar in my laundry i'm going to use olive oil containers like see-through clear olive oil containers and then for like my baking soda i want to get like a cute glass jar to like scoop it out with the cute scooper girl of course my <laughs> camera overheated and shut off but anyway we're back i was just trying to figure out what else i've been wanting on amazon and while the camera was off i was like wait a minute i've really been wanting to minimize the inside of my shower you guys know i'm a product junkie um, and I've also wanted eucalyptus, like the hanging eucalyptus off the shower rod or whatever, shower head. I've really been wanting eucalyptus there, whether it's fake or real, but I can't put it there because I have a shower caddy. So what I thought would be better if I, is if I got some black stick shelves off of Amazon. When I used to live with my mom, I used to have some in my shower. If you remember, you are OG, or if you have watched those videos, you're OG. But I want to look for eucalyptus and some good quality black like shower shelves so like i don't know like shower eucalyptus like what the heck would i call it 
shower eucalyptus i don't know but i want to find one that's gonna not have purple in it 30 piece dried preserve eucalyptus stems shower bundle nine ounce 17 inch 100 natural fresh eucalyptus plant real eucalyptus leaves branches for shower vase filler okay let's look in the reviews and let's see what it looks like in their shower because i might have to put two together to get my results that i want okay that's cute i actually like that that's actually like perfect okay wait a minute horrible do not buy save yourself time and money and do not buy this i don't know why they would sell something that leaks and stains your bathroom shower exit that's pretty sad i kind of want fake like the fake stuff i don't really care about the steam shower eucalyptus fake i don't know i'm not good. i spell eucalyptus wrong that's embarrassing long story short this basically went on for like another 10 minutes just me searching and searching and searching for trustworthy eucalyptus and they just all had some kind of bad review and not just one but like multiple so i just i don't want to take the chance staining my bathtub and having to pay the cost and also having to look at it so i looked up eucalyptus near me and supposedly there's a michael's craft store that sells not crafts i'm not really sure what the heck it is but like there's a michael's store near me that that sells fresh eucalyptus so i guess we'll have to see in my next video but i still decided that i wanted to buy those black shelves so let's start searching for some black shelves and i guess we'll have to see if there's any eucalyptus near me stay tuned for my next videos if i get there and they don't have it and i already bought the black containers for my shower like the black shelves for my shower i'm gonna be really sad but I feel like they're gonna have it if not i'm gonna be searching all over the world because i'm getting ready to just go ahead and buy these black shower shelves for my shower they have really good reviews and it's a five pack so it comes with this super cute container right here to hold like toothbrushes or razors stuff like that then over here we have like shampoo and body wash we have like the hangers down here a bar soap container and like another bar soap container so i'm really ex or a bar soap shelf i'm really excited because i love home improvements nowadays it's like so fun to me so in my next video i feel like i say this so much and like some things don't end up getting done but well they eventually end up getting done just not in the next video in my next video, like I said, I want to go ahead and retwist Jordan's hair, but I really want to go to Michael's and get eucalyptus as well. But I'm going to go ahead and check out my cart. So I only got three things, but three things added up to $86.97. Okay, I placed my order. I'm hoping everything is here by the time I'm filming my next video. But hey, we'll see. Everything will get done. I'm super excited. I'm trying to do a lot more documenting nowadays. So that's why I'm trying to do like clearly online shopping and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so we got the laundry powder container. We got the dryer sheet container, even though I never use dryer sheets, I just wanna use it. We got a five piece shelf set for my shower. Girl, we are doing something. I'm super excited. It's the details that matter. And then also on like this little bin right here that I keep on my, my bed, like the little, the tray, the tray. Okay, I want to go ahead and get a mason jar, put some little lights in the inside of it, like those little twinkle lights, and then some cute white flowers and put that on my bed. That's going to be super cute. So what was I getting ready to do? Oh, start editing. Anyways, yeah. Jordan is currently um, drying his hair, and then I'm going to go ahead and oil it. I'm not sure how long it's going to take him to dry his hair. But y'all, I've had a pretty good chill day um staying busy really helps me with um what i'm going through right now it just really helps me to get my mind off of everything because for me i am a visual person so when my dad passed away i guess i have to say it bothered me a little bit but definitely not as much as when i found out that my sibling was there doing the drugs and alcohol with him and she left once he started to basically die and never came back i was okay up until this particular sibling told the true story and the details of the story like blood and phone and i've had a hard time with my father's death ever since then and now i have to deal with this and i'm such a visual person i just keep imagining what took place that day all i can do is pray for my dad and my grandpa's soul Whew, some things I'm just not ready to talk about and some things I purposely do not bring up because I know um, the place that it'll put me in. I know the feelings that I will have to deal with um, and I'm just not ready to talk about certain things. Honestly, 
my dad's death was so much easier to talk about until I got the news that I got. And if you want to know the complete story, um, there's a video on my channel. And all you have to really look up is Chloe Yasmin devastating news because it was the most devastating news of my life. I had nightmares, sleepless nights. And for that particular person to go on and say that all of that was a lie, I'm not an exposer. But I have every single receipt that I need to back up the truth about what happened that night with my father. And then as far as my grandpa, if this is hurting me, I can just only imagine how much this is hurting my oldest brother, Cameron. When I tell you guys, Cameron was so close to my grandpa. Every single day, Cameron was over there. And if he wasn't over there, Cameron would call him. But I mean, minimum. My brother was over there five times a week. He'd sit and have coffee with him. He'd talk with him. He's had Bible studies with him. They've gone on vacations together. I mean, so close. My brother was really the only person that went and seen my grandpa all the time. So please pray for my brother. This is a very hard time for my family. And I just ask you to please pray for my family because this is hard.